how's it going everyone this is China Connor and you're watching one of my Wi-Fi battle videos I hope you all had a great Christmas break for me I got an iPhone for Christmas and we're going to try it out in this battle video just to see how well I can handle with the camera and stuff all right so today's opponent is a guest on his way be sure to go check out his stuff in his YouTube channel. I'll put it down in the description. But this is a fun match where I get to try to use my Mega Lopony. Um, but yeah, Gaster the Gramble comes in. I'm not really sure why he went for Thunder Wave because Gramble is pretty slow in general. I don't have any speed investment in there, so and uh, I just go ahead and KO him right back with a play rough there. And now we have a problem because he has a I don't know if it's scarfed but it's a Zangoose that probably well okay it's a life orb variant so never mind on that but he's able to two hit KO my cook the Rotom Heat so that's unfortunate there I never get a chance to use that thing in this battle, but it's alright because we have Mega Lopunny. Now this is the Lopunny that I got from Necro Stevo. So it's packing Fake Out with Ice Punch, which I hope I get a chance to use right here. He has a Mega Altaria, which transforms into uh, Dragon Fairy, so he's not going to get KO'd by an Ice Punch. It's still super effective. I know he's going to go for a Hyper Beam. Boosted by Pistolate, there's no way I can live a uh, Hyper Beam from that thing. Because Lopunny is now, well, Mega Lopunny, I should say. Mega Lopunny is part fighting now. Knowing that he has to recharge for a turn, I decided to bring in my Specs Analytic Siberium, the, the Behem, and just destroy him with a Psychic. And that worked out pretty well. I like Siberium. I've used him in my Wi-Fi battles in black and white, X and Y, and now in Oris. Anyway, so I bring in Dexter again just to lower his attack because I noticed how strong that thing is. He was able to kill kill my my Rotom Heat there, as you saw. Now I expected him to switch out, but I wanted to just go for the attacking move, even unboosted or even not very effective damage. Macargo isn't going to probably take three or four hits from my Gaster and here I get my Citrus Berry but I get paralyzed and that's unfortunate there. That means I have to switch out and go into something that would probably take a flamethrower aka my Kaboo Ops. So here we go we have the flamethrower coming and I take that really well because I'm quad resist that hit right there because Kaboo Ops is part rock and water. Now, I expected him to switch out, knowing that there's Kaboo Ops, I knew he had a Melodic Maybell, so I switch into my Analytic Skarmy, or no, Analytic Behem. I have Analytic Behem and an Analytic Skarmy. I'm not really sure which one is better, but I think Siberium is a little bit better, because Skarmy forces switches, and I go last with my Siberium, so... There could be a debate on that. Anyways, though, you see that I have to take two Thunderbolts to KO that Melodic, because Melodic is no slouch on the special side. He brings back in uh, his Zangus and guys. I, I, I could switch out right there, but at that level of HP, I can't really take another hit. So I go ahead and sacrifice my Siberium. I knew he had close combat because that's what most Zangus run for coverage right there and I bring an Umbreon as he does that and here I go for Wish. Um, and guys I'm trying my best on the camera it's not working too well. Hopefully in the next upload I get it right. But you guys see that I go for Wish Protect. That's a good strategy there uh, but my opponent goes for Sword Stance. I'm like oh crap he's just going to destroy my team now because with a Sword Stance he can pretty much sweep my entire team and that's just not looking too good there. 
All right, well, what can we do about that? We'll try to figure it out. So, going that he has a sword stance off there, I go and get that circle and lower his attack right there. He could have gone for another sword stance expecting that, but that's not very likely there. Um, even with that, I'm still not able to take that hit. Either way, I would have been outsped because Gramble is pretty slow and all that stuff. So I lose Gramble there, but I bring back in Kabulas, who surprisingly outspeeds Zangus. I was very surprised about that, because Kabulas doesn't have a high speed stat, but apparently it does. His last Pokemon is uh, Sin, the, the Ninjask. I get my weak armor, which is fantastic, but it doesn't really matter because I go for a stone edge, I don't miss, and I am able to take him out with a stone edge. So, that was a good battle there. Uh, of course, we have to deal with Puddles, but I can outspeed him as well with a waterfall attack. I wanted to test out the quality of my iPhone because I have now an iPhone at my disposal. I still have to figure out a way to handle it properly and make it stable, but it wasn't so bad in this battle, but I hope you all enjoyed this little bit of a miniature upload there. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all next time. Alright, bye now.